math of sunflowers sunflowers are beautiful and iconic for the way their giant yellow heads stand off against a bold blue sky and of course most of us love to munch on the seeds they produce however have you ever stopped to look at the pattern of seeds held within the center of these special flowers there is a beautiful connection between sunflowers and maths when you look at the edge of a sunflower seed head you can usually spot two families of spirals one running clockwise and the other anti clockwise when you count how many spirals there are in each family you'll most probably get two consecutive numbers from the famous fibonacci sequence the sequence starts with a 1 followed by a 2 and all other tens are made by adding the two preceding ones there are also spiral families appearing further towards the center of the seed head going in both directions and counting them will probably reveal a smaller pair of the fibonacci sequence these number patterns appear magical at first but they are there for a reason when simply counting the number of spirals in a single family on a seed head the researchers found that in 74 percentage of the 768 families counted the number of spirals was a number from the fibonacci sequence but that wasn't all the traditional fibonacci sequence start with a 1 and a 2 which means the following numbers are 1 2 3 5 8 and so on but you could also start with a 1 and a 3 getting the lucas sequence 1 3 4 7 11 and so on or you could start with a 1 and a 4 getting the sequence known as f4 1 4 5 9 14 and so on If you double all the numbers in the ordinary Fibonacci sequence, you get 2 4 6 10 16 and so on, which also follows the rules that every number is the sum of the preceding two. The researchers found that another 67 of the individual spiral families had a number of spirals coming from one of these generalized Fibonacci sequence. and they found that another 7% of spiral pairs were pairs of numbers from one of these generalized sequences you can also find the golden angle in the arrangement of sunflower seeds let me explain about the golden angle golden angle is about equal to 137.5 degrees imagine that you are a plant you have leaves spread all around your stem and you want them to soak up as much sun as possible so when you sprout a new leaf you don't want it to block your other leaves you want to set it apart by some angle the best way to minimize the overlap of your leaves is to use the golden angle here is how it works imagine we are looking at the plant stem like this we start with one leaf then we rotate by the golden angle and sprout another leaf then from there we again rotate by the golden angle and sprout a leaf when we rotate again we pass up the first leaf and land in the empty space between it and the second leaf then the next leaf lands in between the second and third leaves and if we keep this up for a while No matter how many leaves you sprout, you will always be taking advantage of the spaces in between the previous leaves. You will always minimize the overlap because the golden angle is so convenient this way. You will find the golden angle on a lot of plants. Plants don't just use the golden angle for leaf arrangements. You will also find it in the arrangement of sunflower seeds and centers of other compound flowers. Each seed in sunflower is created in the very center of the flower and then migrates outward. In order for the seeds to fill all the space around the center, each seed has to migrate outward in a different direction than the last one did. The angle that determines each new seed's direction is the golden angle that is 137.5 degrees.
Nature is really mind-blowing, isn't it?